My name's Joe Bain, and I'm the South Australian Museum's model maker and taxidermist. Welcome to my studio. My love of taxidermy and the South Australian Museum started when I was very young. When I was 18 months old, I had a favourite gallery, and on a visit with my grandmother, they wouldn't let us into the gallery because they were renovating. I started crying and had a tantrum and hid under a case where it took three security guards with brooms to get me out. Ever since then, I've loved the place. The collection items I love the most, it's not just one, are our plesiosaurs on level three. Here we have babies and adults, and it gives us a great insight into how these things grew and the diversity of these animals that swam in our oceans while dinosaurs walked on the land. One thing about one of the plesiosaurs that nobody knows is the small Leptoclitus specimen, which is a baby that would have been about 1.2 meters long, came to me as about 40 different scraps of rock. I had to glue those rocks together and then acid etch the skeleton out of the block of rock. This was a time consuming process that took nearly a year. The process of reconstructing a plesiosaur starts with the original material. This is a skull of Demoskylis, a plesiosaur from Cupipedi. As you can see, there are lots of bits missing, but if you mirror those bits across, you can build the entire skull. Now from this, you do a muscle by muscle reconstruction and you end up with this, showing what the animal looked like in life. Now Demoskylis is unusual because it has these three crests, which were probably used for display and a mouthful of extremely sharp teeth that would have been used for catching fish and squid that it fed upon. 